Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas on Nixus Gaming. Now, uh, I gotta be honest guys, I just woke up from the weirdest nightmare ever. The Legion was massing to attack Hoover Dam. There were boomers dropping bombs on the dam. The Enclave came out of nowhere. Boone was just slaughtering NCR soldiers by the dozen. He didn't even care that he used to be part of the NCR. Man, it was it was a nightmare, man. I can't believe it. I think uh I think uh work is really stressing me out. I need some kind of vacation. I need to get out of New Vegas. Now uh luckily for me, there is a broadcast that I heard a while back. Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson, and I'm a caravan boss for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah, off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers. If you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you got a pit boy, we definitely want you. On the other hand, if you're a greenhorn or a city slicker spinning tales about your skills, you can kindly go hang. If we like your gumption, we'll pay you square and treat you fair. Find me, Jed Masterson, at the Northern Passage if you're interested. Luck to you. Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson. So it appears that these guys are setting up a caravan into the northern Utah area. Utah, yeah, Utah. But, uh... That sounds like a vacation to me. Maybe we'll go on to Zion National Park. Um, I think it's just going to be me, boys. I think it's just going to be me. I want you guys to take some off time, too. You're going to have to uh, go back up what to the it? Lucky 38, spend some time with the other guys. Maybe get out a little bit, I'll Boone. You can do some sightseeing. Don't go back to Bitter Springs like I know you want to. Eddie... Um, just, uh, do what robots do, Eddie. So we're gonna go see what this, uh, caravan, Happy Trails, is all about. Take a nice vacation. It's gonna be great. No more worrying about the NCR or the Legion. No more killing mysterious old men in giant towers. It's, uh, it's gonna be great. It'll be great, guys. Trust me. So it looks like it's up here. We'll just go north from the tools factory here and make our way up. Now I'm not bringing too much with me. I just want to get back to the basics. And by basics, I mean I'm taking my flaming sword, my chainsaw, and all my armor. Yep, those are the basics. But I, I figured I don't want to be too encumbered down for this vacation here. I want to see what the northern area has for me up there, you know? So, uh, I guess the northern passage is somewhere up here. Hopefully we, uh, see these guys somewhere. We're leaving New Vegas after 83 episodes. We are leaving New Vegas. It's been a fun ride, Vegas. It's been a fun ride, but I have a Greener pastures to go to. I want to see the Zion National Park. See what the bombs did to it. Hopefully, hopefully there aren't any, uh, warring tribals that want to kill everyone, right? <laughs> that would never be the case. Never. This is just going to be a fun little vacation. Alright, so I think it's right up over this hill here. Yep, right down in here. The Northern Passage. And looks like we have Happy Trails right here and Jed Masterson. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. Wait a minute, I recognize you. Yeah, you're Alice McLafferty's rising star, ain't you? You sure you want to be here? 
McLafferty's non-competes are pretty rigid. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I want to go to Zion, but tell me a little more about what I'll have to do. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan into Zion and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it into Zion. Plus another bonus if we reach new Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Joshua Graham? Isn't that the burned man? The first legate of the Legion? Why shouldn't I talk about him? What does he have to do with this area? Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable. And it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burned man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. Um, okay, well, uh, tell me about you guys. Who am I going to be spending my vacation with? We're a smaller company out of Sacktown, up in the northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Well, and it sounds like you aren't in the best financial shape. You ain't wrong. Losing the Salt Lake City run really stung us. If we can't re-establish contact with this run, we'll be in real trouble. Why can't you get there? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway's too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Well, uh, what can you tell me about New Canaan? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The New Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. The ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Oh boy. Tribals that kill people. Ah, they shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'll just ignore them. Do you know anything about the religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own. And they're damn fine marksmen too. Well, I... Uh, you don't know what happened to their mission? Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Alright, well, uh... Shoot! I understand that we're headed to Zion. What can you tell me about the area? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Alright, well, uh, I haven't been through Utah recently. What's the situation like? Well, it ain't good, I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Tell me about the raiders. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy, jacked up on cams, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. And the degenerate tribes? That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really gotta watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. So the White Legs, we, we need to ignore those guys. They're going to ruin our vacation. What about the Warlords? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. 
I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. All right, well, uh, no caravan. I'm ready. Let's go. Are you now? You know, we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Well, uh, relax, dude. I've humped this load across the Mojave on my own two feet long enough. I can handle it. Hmm. All right. I reckon you know your limits. You keel over on me out there, though, and I'll leave your ass. After we take everything useful you crammed in your pack. And, uh, why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Alright, so before we go to Zion, let's talk to... Stella and Ricky get to know them. Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. What are you doing here? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93, talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. What was it like in New Reno? Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Tell me about Caliente. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. Were the 80s a gang or a tribe? What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them, so we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, for we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. All right, what about the White Legs? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. All right, well, uh... She seems interesting, like she can defend herself. Maybe uh, we won't have to do so much killing if she's around. What about you, Ricky? You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Yo, what are you gonna do with that uh, comb over? Unwarranted hostility and general agitation. How long have you been a psycho addict? Hey, 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 fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho! Your comb over says it all, dude. How much do you have stashed away? If you run out, the withdrawal's not pleasant. God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho. But, uh, just talking hypnotheoretically here, got any suggestions? 
Well, uh, Hypno, theoretically, if you leave now, before, before the withdrawal hits, no Psycho for miles. Fine. You win, asshole. Enjoy leading the expedition into a fucking ambush. Hope you all die. And Ricky's gone, maybe. Fuck off, okay? I hate you. I hate you too, Ricky. Get out of here. We're not gonna go into an ambush. That's absurd. We're just gonna go. Came along. Now that Ricky's skedaddled, yours is the only pit boy we got. All right. Well, uh, we're not gonna do any ambush. We're just gonna go into Zion and have a nice vacation. Let's go. You sure about that this time? We ain't coming back for a while. Oh, I'm sure. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. Get out of the Mojave. Welcome to Honest Hearts. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpais Legate, was a New Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. All right, so here we are in Zion. A long couple of weeks, but here we are, Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired, but I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time, and the fifteenth too. The new Canaanites will know a way, and if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's pit boy over there. And I'm lollygagging. Get moving, and keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you. All right. Party, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? It's not a problem. We have arrived here at Zion. It's actually a really nice-looking part of the game. Perfect for our vacation. Uh-oh. 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 Not on my vacation. This can't be happening. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're dying. Oh, God. Stella. Stella, what are you doing? You gotta watch out. Oh, my goodness.
Well, it's a good thing I brought a weapon, right? There's one more over here. He's up on the rocks there. I can't really get to him from here. I hope, uh... Hey, 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 hey! How do I get up there? How do I get up here? I'm a melee character. Um, is there a way around I can go? I don't, uh, hear any of my friends there that I was taking the vacation with. Don't hear them. I hope they're okay. Seriously, though, how do I get up there? Ow, that hurts. Um, can I jump across there, maybe? That's a, uh, that's a stretch. Let's, uh, heal up a little bit here. And then I'll try and jump across there while this guy's shooting me. Nope. Oh, yep, I made it. I'm, like, halfway up. There's an invisible wall here. I can't get up any further from here. Um. So I think I'm going to have to uh, cheat a little here. Since I can't get up to him. You guys are about to see me use a gun for the first time in the game. Just so I can kill this guy. Where is he at? He's up here. Alright. Now get that out of here. We don't need that. I'll probably want to re-equip our uh, Gehenna here. All right, guys, don't worry. They're they're all dead. They're, guys, Stella, Stella, you're 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 alive, right? Oh God, I have to go break the news to Jed. Jed. Oh God, they're all dead. Well, uh, so much for having a nice vacation with them, right? Huh. Let's, uh, see what they were taking with them here. I mean, might as well, right? They threatened to take my stuff. I don't think I even need that lad's life anymore. Alright, well, uh... Shit, we don't have a way back. They, uh, said the, uh, passages were too tight. I mean, we have the maps on our Pip-Boy, but, uh, we'll have to find a different way back. Or we could just enjoy ourselves here in Zion. Seems like we might get harassed by the locals a little bit, uh, but, uh, that's why we have weapons. Let's, uh, take a look around the area, I guess. Got a nice river running through it. Oh, we got more, we got more. Um, hello? Hoy, white legs don't leave survivors often. <clears throat> You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow, Joshua will want to hear about this. Uh, Joshua? Who is Joshua? Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. I guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. Oh, God damn it. I wanted a nice vacation away from the NCR and the Legion, and now I'm being taken to Joshua Graham, the man who was the first legate of the Legion. All my friends are dead. Look, man, I don't have time for this. No, actually, all right, let's go. Good sists. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. And now we have Follows Chalk as a companion. 
We can talk to him and get to know him a little bit more. What can I tell you? Tell me about this area. Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew, my guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Well, uh, maybe I can help with that. Yeah? Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. What would you suggest I do? Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These bighorners go crazy for the stuff. Alright, I'll look into it. That's great. I'll help any way I can. But, uh, what else do you have to tell me? Can I tell you? Who are those tribals? White legs. Nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. Wow, New Canaan was wiped out? That's where we were going. That's what Joshua said. White legs came down from Great Salt Lake in force. Fell on New Canaan before they could mount a defense. Joshua found some of the survivors led by a man named Daniel. Most of them have fled the valley. But Daniel stayed on with the Sorrows tribe. He and Joshua have been arguing over whether to stand and fight the White Legs. Or take the Sorrows and the Dead Horses out of the valley. Where do they come from? Where do That's they go? The weird part. Where do no they come the from? White legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. Follows Chalk Joe. I don't know what brought them down this far south. Alright, well what about you? What can I tell you? Why are you called Follows Chalk? Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. What are all the tattoos? Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter takes a great beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. Tell me about your tribe. We came up in the land of the dead horse. Though, why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. We raided. We fought. We lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. Oh, uh, what about Kaisar? When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then he lost his master's army to a tribe called Ensiar, the Sunset People. When he returned, he was as you saw him, burned, broken, but changed. He led us away from Kaisar, led us to our own destiny in Zion. Well, uh, what did he do for you? If it wasn't for Joshua, the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He taught us how to hold our territory, to protect ourselves. He guided us away from Kaisar and showed us how Kaisar would have destroyed us. And what do you know about the new Canaanites? Little bit. I met some of their missionaries a few times, but I've never been to their city. Joshua could tell you more. Or Daniel, I imagine. What's with the shell casings in your club? We decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua Graham. They were the weapons of his old tribe, so now they are ours. Can't say they seem that dangerous to me, but Joshua says they won the West. Do you remember anything about him before he became your leader? Only a little. I was very young. He was different. Prouder, yes, but harder, crueler, more driven. Really, I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. 
He wanted to protect, not destroy. And why is it important that we fight the White Legs? Well, because they're our enemies. What else would we do? They take our land, they kill our scouts, they poach our hunting grounds. All right. Well, uh, I think I already got told about Joshua Graham. He's been the chief of our tribe since he came back to the valley. He went off to the civilized world years ago to fight a war. That didn't go well. What happened to him? You see his face. You'll understand. The only recent war I know of is when the Legion attacked Hoover Dam. Is that where he fought? I don't know. He doesn't talk about it much. Maybe. But how can two civilized tribes fight over something as small as a dam? Have you ever seen Hoover Dam? It's bigger than some of these mountains. <laughs> really? That's... my gods. Must be some mighty civilized folks who built that. And you'd be surprised over what civilized tribes will fight over. <laughs> now you sound like Joshua. He always tells me that tribal life is better. That I should stay here and forget the outside world. Ask away. All right. Well, I guess Go I'll talk to you friend. later. So, uh, some vacation this is turning out to be. All our friends got killed, we're getting attacked by the tribals, and now we're being forced to go talk to a former member of the Legion. I guess, uh, next episode, we'll start exploring Zion Canyon. I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.